Coming up in the program, we've got the precise reason why you can actually eat dark chocolate. We'll be finding out why scientists have found glyphosate in humans and animals. And we'll also be seeing why saturated fat doesn't cause heart disease or obesity. All that and more coming up in the Low Carb Paleo Show. Hello and welcome back. How are you doing today, Alan? I'm great, thank you very much. And you? Wonderful, wonderful. It's this uh, good, healthy living that we've got, I think, that's to blame. That's it, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, we, we are healthy and uh, plenty of other, th other things I don't want to mention here. Plenty of other things you don't want to mention here. That, no, that sounds good. No, this is a family show, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Let, let, let's keep it. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. So, what's what's on the news today? Well, one of the things that caught my eye this this particular week was the uh, the American Chemical Society have come up with a um, or come out with a study, I should say, that says that you know there are health benefits to eating chocolate. But most people have been wondering what the exact reason was for that until now anyway researchers from the american chemical society have reported that it's because our stomachs contain certain bacteria that gobble up the chocolate and then ferment it into an anti-inflammatory compound that's good for the heart sounds good to me actually it tastes good to me um <laughs> want to know my uh my secret i eat a square of dark chocolate every single night after a meal that's my Do you? that's my dessert <laughs> and and I, and I don't have to feel guilty about it because it's a 70% dark chocolate and so it's loaded with antioxidants and it mm -hmm. actually has higher uh, antioxidants uh, than some fruits and vegetables so that's how I um, justify my, s my eating chocolate just make sure don't eat the uh, the low quality with um, large amount of sugar which is a typical mm. uh, American candies tend to contain my the, my favorite dark chocolate is lint it's a Swiss mm -hmm. chocolate yep. it's 70% uh, cocoa content so it's dark but mm -hmm. it's not too bitter you can go up mm -hmm. to 85% if you don't mind I prefer mm -hmm. to keep it at that limit which is uh, yep. don't, don't go any lower than that and it will be too sugary yeah. and um, yeah. You know, it tastes great because it's made in Switzerland it, and they know how to d handle chocolate. So it's very, very smooth. It melts in your mouth. It's just uh, close your eyes and oh, let it... Alan, 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 I want a bit of chocolate now. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's life. You, you, I mean, if you have to enjoy food or else, what, what, is, what else is there in life, right? This is true. This is true. You know, I think people are going to be interested in that. So I think you should come back in a week or so's time and tell us more about the health benefits of chocolate. Is that a good idea? Sounds good to me. So there it is, chocolate. We, we'll put an advert for Lint underneath the show notes. Or oh, did I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> so that takes us on to our book and film reviews. Well, the book I wanted to look at this week is the uh, Blood Sugar Solution 10-Day Detox Diet by Dr. Mark Hyman, MD. The subtitle says, Activate your body's natural ability to burn fat and lose weight fast. Well, to me that sounds just like a decent paleo or low-carb type of diet. Well, let's have a look a bit further. In the blurb for this particular book, he goes on to say, it's the key to losing weight and keeping it off is maintaining low insulin levels. Based on Dr. Hyman's groundbreaking blood sugar solution program, the Blood Sugar Solution 10-Day Detox Diet presents strategies for reducing insulin levels and producing fast and sustained weight loss. You know, that really does sound like a low-carb diet, doesn't it? Anyway, those of you familiar with uh, Mark Hyman's uh, books will undoubtedly find this one also very interesting. And for those of you who don't know him, uh, Dr. Hyman is actually one of the advisors for the Dr. Oz Show. And strangely enough, Alan, you're like this. He, he encourages people following his diet to avoid processed foods during the 10-day detox. Included within the book, there are a number of um, healthy, tasty, or at least tasty sounding recipes, though some people have found them to be a little bit time consuming. 
However, this particular diet may appeal to some sections of the paleo community especially, as Dr. Hyman does ask people who follow his diet to give up dairy, which as he says causes inflammation, um, allergies, congestion, post-nasal drip, sinus problems, eczema, asthma and so much more. The book itself has had quite a few good though short um, reviews apparently from many people who you may actually know, Arianna Huffington, Bill Clinton, Jack Canfield and more. So if you like there are a lot of weighty names behind it. Although looking further through on the um, different review sites it's had mixed reviews everything from obviously five star fan reviews to several one two and uh, three star reviews with some people saying this is just an effort to make money be that as it may it has to be said that the five star reviews far outweigh all of the others with one very helpful reviewer saying it's a very helpful and informative book if you stick to the program you are guaranteed to lose weight i lost 8.1 pounds and I'll use this book as a guideline for my new healthy lifestyle. So if you want a book that will give you a guideline for your new healthy lifestyle well this is probably one of the ones that you might want to read. It's available internationally of course from most good booksellers and good old Amazon and as usual we'll give you a link to it in the show notes beneath this program. So what's, what's on your list to look at this week? Well, I wanted to talk about uh, another one of my favorite authors. When I started, um, you know, after my gluten-free diet and I started digging into paleo, I read uh, everything I could get my hands on. And um, besides some of the more scientific books, uh, the one that I liked the most and uh, really was a pleasure to read was The Paleo Solution. The original human diet by Rob Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like about the writer in the book itself is that he has a very laid back and funny way of explaining things that mm -hmm. scientifically make complete sense. For example, I've read some other more quote unquote serious paleo books, and um, mm -hmm. you know, after a few pages, you get so bored, you just uh, you, you lose interest in the subject with his because he presents it so just down to earth he throws in a few jokes in there even a couple of curse words if needed but he's still making his point with the scientific uh, explanations for it and I found this book highly pleasurable and highly educative as well so uh, Rob Wolf and you can find it as uh, of course on Amazon and his website is easy it's robwolf.com and and I've noticed he's also got a free book he's giving away on the website as well. Yes, yes. And he's um, Rob Wolf's Paleo Quick Start Guide, which looks yeah. dead interesting. In less than 30 days, you can uh, lose weight and get healthier, which is what everybody dreams of, right? Yeah, they do, they do. Now, GMO has also been in the news this week, hasn't it, Alan? I noticed you, you were looking at some articles on that uh, oh, when yes. you were chatting earlier. <coughs> GMO is, um, kind of my, about the GMO is kind of my pet peeve right now and part of my job at People's Pharmacy was to do research on GMO and try to eliminate them from our line of products and uh, so I'm very focused on that particular subject and uh, this mm. week a brand new study came out by Dr. Kruger in Germany that shows mm. that chronically ill humans and animals have higher glyphosate concentration in their blood and urine mm -hmm. and what what that shows and what that proves is that genetically engineered crops tend to be oversprayed by Roundup of which glyphosate is the main ingredient and glyphosate mm -hmm. is a poison it's meant to kill weeds and, and bugs right so but mm -hmm. what people or, or corporations seem to forget is that it could also affect human health so mm. it's when dr kruger studied humans uh that were sick and analyzed their uh, stool urine and blood he found there was a much higher concentration of glyphosate in those people than in people that were eating non-gmo 
or even you know organic uh, local fresh food so it's another link that shows that um, genetically engineered crops and uh, the extra uh, spraying of Roundup and glyphosate is extremely dangerous for human health mm. and keep in mind also keep in mind another thing that people tend to forget is not just your food you eat directly but your food you eat indirectly when you eat uh, animal that has been raised industrially that are fed genetically engineered corn and soybean mm. and cottonseed uh, cakes um, when they eat that food, it gets into the meat, and when you eat that meat, it gets into your body. Mm. So, yeah. so and in who fact, wants, who in wants that? In fact, you're creating a self-perpetuating uh, poison factory in your in your digestive system. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, that's that's not something we want, is it? <laughs> no, not me anyway. So, when ba basically, I mean, the, the bottom the bottom line I see from that is, if you want to die something nasty, carry on eating GMOs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I would I would highly recommend to stay away from GMO, and that's uh, I strongly strongly believe that and advocate yeah. all my clients get off a GMO. I have found some of my clients that just simply stopping eating GMO actually improves their health, mm. even without going into a one would you know would call mm. a healthy diet just get rid of GMOs and your health improve just by doing that that's very really true talking of GMOs now they may not like they may not like this little crossover but there's a question question came in recently and it said are Atkin bars real food my take on that is no if you want to have a snack go and get some real food there's so many different things you can snack on, things like uh, cheese, even slices of home, homemade um, sausages from the deli counter and that sort of thing. You don't need to resort to, to uh, something that's full of uh, basically chemical ingredients, right. additives and all that sort of thing. Yeah, my position, and I agree with you on that, but my position on that is any processed food should be avoided. Well, yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. One, one minute. No processed food. No. I mean, I, I don't eat it, and uh, as most of you that know anything about me will know, I've not, not been to a doctor for something like 35 years. That says a lot, I think. Absolutely. So, moving on. So, tip of the week time. So, Alan, and with your chef's hat on, what, what foods are coming into, uh, into season around about this time of year that are good for us? Of course, uh, as you know... Spring is offici officially here since Thursday, um, so everything spring, spring onions, uh, spring carrots, beets, uh, all sorts of brand new vegetables that are not fully grown, those are very uh, tender, mm. very um, yummy to eat. Uh, asparagus, you can find mm -hmm. asparagus, beautiful green onions, one of my favorite is radishes. I love radishes. I always um, put a few slices of radishes in my in my salads. It's got this little mm -hmm. peppery taste to it, and uh, it works very well when you add some uh, nuts to it. I like pecans to throw pecans in my salads as well for additional protein. Mm. Even though yeah. even though it's a salad, I uh, sometimes add nuts to add a little protein into it. Yeah. And then of course we've Sounds got. Good. Broccoli, cabbage, collard greens, kind of a leftover from the sort of winter, the end of the season, the winter. Uh, lettuce, spinach, uh, garlic, shallots. So that's basically what's what's up in Texas, uh, typically, because we've actually um, very strange weather here in the past few weeks. We've had cold snaps and... 80 degrees days and so it's been uh, kind of um, not a good thing for the crops but we have had some rain for the past couple of weeks so that you know we have uh, good crops coming out again so that's basically what what you can find yes wonderful so there's some there's some good stuff there so that's all from us this week uh, we hope you've in, enjoyed the program and obviously we should be back again next week 
with more news, views, reviews and stories to make your low carbon paleo lifestyle that much better. Don't forget to push the like button on our Facebook page and share all of our posts with your friends. Many of the items we cover will be gone into in further detail on Low Carb Mag and of course you can get lots more details on the website. And if you want to get a quick link through to the Facebook page, simply go to lowcarbpaleoshow.com. So it's goodbye from me, Mark Moxham. And au revoir à tout le monde, and goodbye everybody, from Chef Alain Thanks again, bye.